Hello, my wonderful scholars. Welcome to another exciting time in Language Smart. How are you doing? Today, you will learn about multiple meaning words and me and I. These all are topics for today. So what is multiple meaning word? Have you heard about it before? Do you know what it is? Okay, now sit back, relax, and get ready to learn. Multiple meaning words, just as the name imply, it means words with multiple meaning. Multiple meaning words or homophones are words with more than one meaning. They have the same spellings and letters, but they mean different things. For example, the teacher gave me a check mark on my paper. I received the $100 check from my aunt in the mail. Now let's look at some examples of multiple meaning words. Nails is a multiple meaning word. The hard part on your fingers and toes are your nails. You can also say fingernails and toenails to be specific. Nails are also the sharp metal pieces used in construction. Another one is back. The now back refers to the outer covering of a tree. The verb back refers to the sound a dog makes. So back is a multiple meaning word. Good job. Another is novel. Novel, it's a fictional book of significant length. It's a short book of significant length. The word novel can also be used as an adjective to mean especially new, unusual, or different. For example, a novel approach to solving a problem. So novel can either mean a book or a, an approach to solving a problem. Let's still look at some other multiple meaning words like season. A season is a period of the year with a particular climate or weather like spring, summer, fall, winter, raining, and dry seasons. Then we also have season as spices. The spices or flavorings are called seasonings. For example, you might season a chicken before roasting it in the oven. Jam is also a multiple word, which means a sweet paste made out of fruit. It is also called jelly. The verb jam means to put something into a space that is too small for it. For example, you would jam a week's worth of clothes into a small backpack that is compressing can also mean jam. A pool is also a multiple meaning word. A pool is a man-made area of water for swimming. Pool also refers to a game where you try to put the colored and numbered balls into the hole around the edges of the table. It can also be called billiards. So a pool is a swimming pool and it's also a game pool. Things that might trick you. Now, multiple words can be very tricky because they have the same letters and the same spelling and sound alike. But you have to take, the, take note of this. Sometimes the words can have two or more definitions. I eat grape jam. I was in a traffic jam. Be careful not to jam. Now, let's look at me or I. Me or I. How do we use me or I? If the pronoun appears in the subject of a sentence, use I. Like you can see, I was late for school. Now, the subject is I and the predicate is late for school. Good job. I hope you're catching. When you write about yourself, you use the pronoun I or me. So when you want to refer to yourself, you use the pronoun I or me. I like to go to church. I like to go to church. If the pronoun appears in the predicate part of the sentence, use me. Sherry went home with me. So the subject is Sherry. Then who went home with Sherry is me, which is the predicate. Well done. Good job. He gave the book to me. He gave the book to me. So it's also the predicate. Me now, it's the predicate. Using I and me with another name. Now, why using I and me with another name? 
we combine the pronouns I and me with another person. For example, Betsy and I like to read. The TV was too loud for Rob and me. So you see the switch. Bobby and I broke the blue lamp. Sit beside Terry and me. So all of these are the use of I and me with a third person. Good job. Activities are on page 206 to 209 in our Language Smart Test Book. Good job. I hope you had a beautiful time learning today. Do well to attempt all your quizzes and assignments. It's time to go. I hope you enjoyed the class. Bye-bye. See you in our next class.